I, mean, I need them to do something before it's, it's too late, before somebody gets killed or really, really injured. Concerns are growing for the safety of her family, all thanks to a dangerous intersection. What she now wants the county to do. The people will be deciding if a measure to legalize recreational marijuana will be passed in November. Is Michigan planning on going green? Former President Bill Clinton responds to backlash from recent comments about the Monica Lewinsky sandal. Find out what he had to say. Live and local, with coverage you can count on. This is WNEN TV 5 News at 9. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday as we take this live look over Saginaw this morning. Just look at all those beautiful yeah. blue skies we see out there today. That's pretty nice. I think this is the most beautiful sky cam for the nine we've had all week. The other Absolutely. ones were cloudy. This one is nice and clear. Yeah, we like to see that. Uh, lots of sunshine today. Bring your sunglasses. Well, thanks so much for watching TV5 News at 9. I'm Elena Holland. We're glad you could join us. I'm Jamie Sherrod. Meteorologist Kylie Miller is in the First 1-5 Weather Center. And Kylie, this morning we needed our jackets. Later in the day, we need the sunglasses because it's going to warm up. That is exactly right. Temperatures are already improving from earlier this morning. Temperatures currently are mainly in the 50s all across Bend, Michigan. Some of us are even flirting with 60 degrees. Here's a look at the southern communities. We're at 59 degrees in a while. Also 57 in Flint, but then Lapeer still struggling in the upper 40s for the Tri-Cities. Each and every one of us are in the 50s, and a good majority of us here across the Michigan holding on to the middle and upper 50s, flirting with 60 degrees. We will continue to have that sunshine dominating for today on the First Warn 5 Sky Tracker. We are not monitoring any clouds in sight, so this is what you can expect for your day planner today. We will have a good mix of the sun and the clouds, more sunshine than what we experienced yesterday. Plus, temperatures will continue to climb into the upper 60s by lunch and then finally the lower 70s at 2 o'clock. All right, thanks, Kylie. Looking forward to it. Well, breaking news, part of I-69 is shut down right now due to a crash involving two semi-trucks. MDOT reports the crash happened around 7.30 this morning. Take a look at these pictures, some sent to us by a viewer, others posted on Facebook by the Shiawassee County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office says one of the trucks rear-ended the other on westbound I-69 near the 105 mile marker. That side of the freeway is closed down completely. Another crash happened in the eastbound side as onlookers slowed down. Just one lane is open there right now. No word yet if anyone was hurt, but of course we'll bring you more information as it comes into the continuous news center. Well, a mid-Michigan mother worried about the safety of her family after a vehicle plowed into her yard. I guess what? This isn't the first time it's happened. And this time it's going to cost her thousands. And now she wants to know what can be done about it. TV5's Kate Nadolski is asking the tough questions. Please, Saginaw County, do something. This is enough. Connie Barst worried about her family's safety because she says her home sits in a vulnerable spot. You can see it here right beyond the traffic light and sign at the dead end of McCarty Road. But that light and sign making no difference this past Sunday morning. We woke up to hear a loud crash and once again I thought it's probably somebody came up our driveway. Connie says she knew right away because this has happened five times before. Sure enough, we looked out and this truck had been embedded into the back of my daughter's vehicle. The driver also smashing into Connie's truck, causing thousands in damage. And they're worried that her daughter's truck is too smashed up to even fix. My daughter's truck may be totaled and her truck is worth a lot of money, but the insurance, if you look it up, it's not going to be worth anything, so she's going to lose her truck. The damage doesn't stop there. Connie, who suffers from an incurable disease that affects the tissues in her neck, says the hot tub that she uses for medical therapy was hit, and it's now deemed an electrical hazard. She says the driver also took out the family's brand new fence that they just put in place for Connie's therapy dog. Connie says she contacted the Saginaw County Road Commission for several years, asking for rumble strips to be installed, but nothing's ever been done. We reached out to them ourselves. Dennis Bouchard gave us this statement. 
that reads, quote, the road commission will evaluate the intersection to determine if it warrants any extra signage or traffic control devices and crash history will be reviewed. Connie says she's waiting on that much needed change. I need them to do something before it's, it's too late, before somebody gets killed or really, really injured. Police have issued a warrant for the blood tests of the person that was driving. Those results are still pending. Reporting in Carlton, Kate Nadolski, WNEM, TV5. All right, thank you very much, Kate. Continuing coverage this morning, lawmakers in Lansing let the chance to vote on a measure legalizing recreational marijuana go up in smoke. Now, those who say it's high time for a change will get their chance to vote when it hits the ballot statewide in November. The proposed bill would allow people 21 or older to possess up to 2.5 ounces of marijuana outside of their home and grow up to 12 plants at home. A 10% tax would be assessed on all retail sales. Communities would still have the option to regulate marijuana business locally or ban them altogether. For almost a decade, Michigan has been allowed the use of medical marijuana. If successful, the state would become the 10th to legalize pot for recreational purposes. New details this morning in the case of a man accused of killing his own girlfriend. The Flint Journal reports Brandon Marrow was arraigned yesterday. He's accused of running over his girlfriend and fleeing the scene. He now faces charges of first degree murder, witness intimidation, tampering with evidence, and failure to stop at the scene of a crash. Davison Township Police took the call early Saturday morning and found Taisha Kemp dead just off Davison Road. They say Kemp got into an argument with Marrow before, but have not released a motive. In more local news, a new leader has been named for a local school district. The Saginaw Board of Education picked Assistant Superintendent Ramont Roberts as interim superintendent. Roberts will succeed Nathaniel McLean, whose last day is June 30th. Some improvements are on their way to MBS International Airport. Just announced yesterday, the airport will be getting a $3.5 million grant. The money is coming from the Federal Department of Transportation. They'll go toward restoring the runway and reconstructing runway lighting. But over at another mid-Michigan airport, today marks the final chapter with an airline. After today, Southwest flights will no longer depart out of Flint's Bishop International Airport. The announcement to discontinue flights after five years was made in November of last year, giving the airport seven months to choose its replacement. The last Southwest flight leaves for Chicago's Midway Airport at 6 tonight. Also developing this morning, more job opportunities in the vehicle city. The Flint Journal reports General Motors is hiring 75 temporary part-time spots at Flint's assembly plant. Applications are being taken now through August 1st. Pay starts at $15.78 an hour with potential to fill other temporary positions. Saginaw's Ojibwe Island plays host to a kickoff celebration for Light Up the City next week. The event starts next Wednesday evening at 5.30. Then volunteers will walk the city's neighborhoods each Wednesday night, encouraging residents to light up their front porches to help keep communities safe. Well, this week we're searching for the very best outdoor dining spot in mid-Michigan. So where do you go to enjoy your meal, maybe a refreshing drink on a patio? That's right. Today is the last day to send your nominations to Top 5 on 5 at WNEM.com. We'll reveal your top five choices tomorrow morning. And then you can vote for your favorites. We'll announce the winner Friday morning on Wake Up. And it's good things are warming up outside, mm -hmm. so it'll be great to grab you some good food and maybe eat that outside. There's nothing like sitting outside having, I don't know, a glass of wine or oh, a lemonade wine. It's so with relaxing. some sun. Mm -hmm. There it's, you go. It sounds like summer. We're excited to see what you guys nominate. Well, evacuations are now being ordered after the volcano eruption in Guatemala. Find out why residents are still in danger. Is your screen time at an all-time high? If so, that is not a good thing. Find out what companies are doing to help disconnect people from their phones. Unlike being stuck with a bad haircut. You look amazing. Aspen Dental, make sure you're satisfied with a denture money-back guarantee. Thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Schedule now at 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. At General RV in Birch Run, it's the rebates, rebates, rebates sale this Wednesday to Sunday. Get up to $10,000 off with manufacturer's rebates on diesel motorhomes, $5,000 off gas motorhomes, $2,500 off fifth wheels and toy haulers, and $1,000 off trailers. Shop our huge inventory and save thousands on the RV of your dreams. Plus, get more for your trade. Don't miss your exclusive rebates this Wednesday to Sunday at General RV in Birch Run. 
the world doesn't need more pizza, just a better one. Like Jets Detroit style pizza. Enjoy Jets Aloha barbecue chicken pizza topped with chicken, pineapple, and bacon, just $13.99. Jets, better because it has to be. If you've been denied social security disability, don't give up. It's your money. You worked your whole life, you've earned it, and now you deserve that money. So call us today. We'll fight and win to get you the benefits that you deserve. The call is free and the benefits could last a lifetime. That's the Bernstein Advantage. 1-800-CALL-SAM. The Sam Bernstein Law Firm, Michigan's first family of law. Ever heard of nomophobia? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> was the term coined recently meaning no mobile phone phobia. Yeah, with tech addiction on the rise, device manufacturers are trying to implement features to help users disconnect. Reid Vinion has the details in today's Health Minute. Some apps demand more of our attention than we might even realize. Apple debuted screen time at its Worldwide Developers Conference, a new iPhone feature to help users keep track of their tech usage. I encourage everyone to look and ask themselves uh, if they're picking up their phone 10 times an hour or 20 times an hour. And Apple isn't the only developer looking to help people fight tech addiction. In May, Google announced a suite of digital well-being tools for the next version of Android. And Facebook has introduced changes to its news feed, which it claims causes users to spend less time on the site. There are serious ramifications to bad tech habits. A Pew Research study found that nearly half of adults in the U.S. admit to sending or reading texts while driving. And that number increases to 59% for millennials. A Midtown Manhattan pedestrian study found 42% of the people who entered traffic during a don't walk signal were interacting with their device. Tech addiction can also cause poor posture, affecting a person's neck, spine, respiratory functions, and even emotions. We want people to be incredibly satisfied and empowered by our uh, the devices that we ship, but we've never wanted people to spend a lot of time on them. For today's Health Minute, I'm Reed Binion. Wow. I definitely believe the neck thing, mm -hmm. you know, how, mu how much time we spend looking down at our phones, it hurts our neck, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, and especially it's crazy because I'm sure we've all been guilty of it at one point or another, but there's so many other produ productive things we could be doing than on yeah, Instagram, but we still do Facebook. it, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try to stop so much. <laughs> well, it's not the usual type of pet you see here in our studio, but it's still very adorable. That's right. Find out how you can give a cute turtle a new home. A popular site, not this turtle, <laughs> may have been victim to a data breach. We'll tell you the latest victim coming up next. Balled by the family dog, Dr. Orton takes matters into his own hands to transform her life. Who wants to see a night? Plus, sweet super snacks. Our Yum Yum crew puts them to the test. Today at 3 on WNEM TV 5. Your daughter's 14. You are providing your child with alcohol, marijuana, allowing her to have sex. You are committing a crime. That's Dr. Bill. Today at 4 on WNAM TV 5. Ways to lose stubborn belly fat. The Northern Percussion Massage. Not cool. Freezing away fat cells with cool sculpting. Now that's cool. Cool sculpting safely freezes and removes fat cells with little or no downtime and no surgery. Results in patient experience may vary. Some rare side effects include temporary numbness, discomfort, and swelling. Ask your doctor if cool sculpting is right for you and visit coolsculpting.com today for your chance to win a free treatment. And we welcome back Gary, who's already won. Three cars, two motorcycles, a boat, and an RV. I would not want to pay that insurance bill. Oh, I have Progressive, so I just bundled everything with my home insurance. I'm saving a ton of money. We love you, Gary! You don't have to buzz in. It's not a question, Gary. On March 1st, 1810. Frederick Chopin. Collapsing in 226. The Colossus of Rhodes. Louise Dustman. Brahms Lullaby or Freakin' Lead. When will it end? Not today, Ron. 
At StoneQuest, we know a paver or stone hardscape is a big investment. If your patio's seen better days, but you're not ready to replace it, restore it with Sherbon cleaning and sealing products. Sherbon products bring new life to a wide range of paver and stone patios by sealing, protecting, and enhancing the color and shine of your outdoor space. Ask us about special antifungal sealers that inhibit mold and moss growth. Let our expert staff show you the proper application or refer you to a certified applicator. Visit StoneQuest today. And see why our customers say we rock. You know, it's not the typical pet we have here for Pet of the Week, but it still needs a good home. Yeah. I'm joined here with <laughs> Officer Joaquin Guerrero, Saginaw County Animal yes. Care and Control. You brought a turtle, not this one. No, this, this is one. This, well, it's, his name's Leonardo, too. <laughs> I named him Leonardo. Uh, that makes and sense. And he's what you call Painted Turtle. And what's kind of cool about him, he needs a little home. But painted turtles, there's like four regions they live in. They live in the northern part of the United States, the southern, the Midwest, and then mm -hmm. the western part of the mid-state. And these guys are kind of neat. They're, they're pets. They're, they're good. They, he needs a home. Um, they're what you call omnivores. Mm -hmm. So they eat both meat and food. Hey, you want to hold them? Sure. Oh, and he's so little. little. Yep, you guys so, see him? Yep. And what's, what about oh. them, what's neat about them, <laughs> in the wildlife, they can live up to be like over about 55 years old. Wow. And in, if they're taken very, very well, good care of, these guys can live longer in, in, in this captive world. That's incredible. And But what's cool about them is that these little guys, they during the wintertime, you know, the reptiles hibernate. These mm -hmm. guys go down to the bottom of the rivers or the ponds, and they bury themselves in there, but they stay awake. And then their system just kind of slows down. And they're alert, and then when when after the ice breaks and that, they swim up to the top. So is he pretty young? Because he's yeah, he's really just a little small. baby right now, and and he can be adopted oh, at at, at okay. the shelter. <laughs> and what he's got, he's got his little aquarium yeah. that comes with it, and the rocks and okay. everything. The light doesn't come with it; that's our heating lamp. But all that they can come down and mm -hmm. inquire about him. Say they want to adopt little Leonardo. Yeah. So he's cool. They're so. pretty cute. I've had friends who have had pet turtles like this, and they just kind of walk around the house, you mm -hmm. know, while you watch them. And they're good little pets. They're unusual. Oh, don't follow, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Leonardo. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, you mentioned a heat lamp. Um, yep. What kind of other things and, do and you And a lot of time what they'll him? do is they got, there's turtle food you can buy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you put a little bit of lettuce in there. And then there's wax worms they can get for them and bugs and stuff like that. Because like I said, they're omnivores. So we'll put them back in here yep, a little bit. So they can go in there but he needs a little home and he'd be a good little pet for somebody mm -hmm. um the biggest thing is just kind of making sure the water's clean and they got the fresh food in there all the time and and most likely they care for him he's so cute yeah. too okay this is a very unique pet we've had here on pet of the week mm -hmm. but still looking for a home yep. still need something uh you know <laughs> maybe a cat dog's not really your thing but a turtle certainly yep. is and this guy don't come with them this oh, is my okay. guy so <laughs> I ain't giving up my Leonardo, so. Just this one. <laughs> Just that Leonardo. All right, well, if you want to adopt this Leonardo, <laughs> you can rename him, too, if you want, but I think yes. that's... It's fitting, perfect. Fits them pretty good. Um, or any of the other animals yes. we have, just head over to the hot link section of <laughs> WNAM.com. Yes. Certified most accurate. Now your first one by four next with Mid Michigan's only live radar. Here's meteorologist Kylie Miller. Good Wednesday morning, Mid Michigan. Today is going to be a good day to, let's say, go outside and walk your dog because we are going to be having some beautiful sunshine and temperatures are going to be nice and pleasant as well. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the first one five pinpoint Doppler radar where we are just monitoring a couple of clouds. Other than that, we're under mostly clear skies and we are staying dry. No precipitation to talk of for this morning or this afternoon. But here's a look at those temperatures as we break down the southern communities first. Because of that sun already shining, we're getting a nice boost of these temperatures. Earlier this morning, we were struggling in the upper 30s as well as the 40s. Now we're at 57 degrees in Flint, 60 in Owasso. For Lapeer, 55 degrees. And for the Tri-Cities, 59 currently in Saginaw, 56 in Bay City, 57 in Midland. And looking at all of the temperatures around the region, we have a good mix of the lower, middle, as well as the upper 50s. And all of us, by the time this afternoon is all said and done, we'll be climbing into the 60s and some of us will reach the lower 70s. Here's a look at the temperature change. We are a good about one to 10 degrees warmer just from this time yesterday. So comparing those temperatures and we're going to continue to warm up from those temperatures that we experienced yesterday. Now here's a look at those winds. They're coming mainly out of the north. They are sustained at about three to five miles per hour. So we are talking about some light winds for today. So that's good news. We're going to be having a light wind, beautiful sunshine, and we're not talking about some 
really below average temperatures. If anything, we're just going to be a couple of degrees below average. So here's the big picture on the first Warren 5 Sky Tracker. High pressures in control across the Great Lakes state. So that's keeping us pretty much cloud free and it's keeping us dry. But it's this next disturbance that's coming in from the Midwest that's going to be impacting us going through the overnight period and into our Thursday. That's going to be giving us a chance for picking up some isolated rain showers. But until then, we are holding on to mostly clear skies and that sunshine is shining bright. So let's time out the rest of your day on the first one five hour by hour forecast. Grab the sunglasses. You are going to be needing those, especially for this lunch shower. We're going to continue to have mostly sunny skies. And then we are going to get another push a cloud cover going through really the evening commute home. But temperature is still going to be nice and pleasant in the upper 60s, if not the lower 70s. And you can see that we are going to be getting some isolated rain shower chances going through the evening commute home as well as the overnight period. But overall, it's not going to be a washout and not everyone will be experiencing these rain showers as we go through the overnight period and into our Thursday. But really, by daybreak tomorrow, we're going to be starting to dry on out, holding on to that cloud cover, and then that cloud cover will decrease going through the afternoon. Now, today, temperatures are going to be a little bit below average. Normally, we should be at 75 degrees. 72 will be your afternoon high temperature under mostly sunny skies. It will be gorgeous for tonight. Temperatures will drop down into the middle 50s under mostly cloudy skies, and we'll have a chance for picking up an isolated rain shower. And for the first one, five seven-day forecast, temperatures will be in the 70s all week long. Next chance for rain will be on Thursday, and then we have a bigger chance for your Friday night and into your Saturday, and that will come with some thunderstorms embedded in those rain showers. But temperatures will be in the middle and the upper 70s. All righty. Thanks, Kylie. It's nice Kylie. to see some warmer weather, too. Mm -hmm. That'll be exciting. Um, yeah. Maybe you can take your, take your pet turtle outside. <laughs> Rain shouldn't be too bad either, so. <laughs> no. Well, mobile home park residents in troubled waters after the city shuts off their water. Why they say management is leaving them high and dry. That's next. It may be the end of IHOP and the beginning of IHOP. Yep, that's right, with a B. Find out what fans are speculating it will stand for. And remember to download the TV5 mobile app for the latest news and weather. You can find it in the App Store or on Google Play. Oh Hurt in a car wreck? Call right now. Hello? Is he all right? Want to know what your case may be worth? Call J Trucks and Associates. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity Internet. Call 1-800-449-6565 today. And do what you love online with Xfinity Internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months. Xfinity Internet delivers the speed you need to surf, stream, and download. Plus, with Constant Guard by Xfinity, your family will get unmatched online security, and it's included at no additional cost. Call 1-800-449-6565 today and get speed, security, and value from Xfinity for an amazing price. Xfinity delivers reliably fast internet speed and the best in-home Wi-Fi experience. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Now with more speed, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. Experience speed at a great low price from Xfinity. Call 1-800-449-6565. That's 1-800-449-6565. Xfinity, the future of awesome. The Floor Trader Outlet is going patriotic. It's our all-American flooring sale, featuring 50% savings on all-American floors. Up to 50% off hardwood, carpet, luxury vinyl, and more. If it's in stock and American-made, you'll save. And our in-stock prices are always lower than the home centers. Three-year financing, too. All-American floors on sale from an all-American company you love. Visit the Floor Trader today, located on Bay Road in Saginaw. A sickness or injury keeping you from work? Call right now. Denied and rejected by Social Security? Call right now. A breach of a popular genealogy site, and soon it's not going to be IHOP anymore. Diane King Hall has those stories and more in your Money Watch report.
On Wall Street yesterday, stocks finished mostly higher, with the Nasdaq closing at a record high for the second day in a row. In the end, the Dow fell 13 points and the Nasdaq gained 31. Mexico is hitting back at the U.S. after the Trump administration placed tariffs last week on steel and aluminum products from Mexico, Canada, and the European Union. Mexico said it is imposing its own tariffs on American products, ranging from steel to pork and bourbon. The move complicates efforts to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement. One of the world's most popular online genealogy sites, MyHeritage, is investigating a security breach. The company says the breach involved more than 92 million user accounts that were created through October of last year. The data included email addresses and passwords. MyHeritage says details about family trees and DNA were not part of the breach. Users are being urged to change their passwords. We may soon be eating our pancakes at IHOB as the company teases a name change. The breakfast chain has been tweeting it is dropping the P from the International House of Pancakes. IHOP posted a Twitter poll taking guesses for what the B could stand for. Options included biscuits, bacon, butternut squash, or barnacles. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall. I don't understand why they're changing it. I don't like, probably not barnacles though. Yeah, <laughs> I thought breakfast, but that wasn't an option. What? Okay, I'm really confused by this. I wonder if it's maybe just a promotional thing. Hopefully. It could be, because I think IHOP is just We're too We're also iconic. used to saying IHOP, not, let's go get breakfast at IHOP. Yeah, you that say pancakes so weird. if you don't get pancakes. <laughs> there we go. Also to come, former President Bill Clinton appeared on The Late Show last night with Stephen Colbert. Find out what Clinton had to say about some recent controversial comments. It's like it knows our every move. Weird, right? Evan! What? Alien invaders are threatening the world of our plastic heroes. Find out more about the upcoming Lego movie. But first, has it been a bit of a stressful week? Well, we may have the perfect solution. This margarita will certainly put a spice into your happy hour. It's our Better Homes tip of the day. Did you know ignoring a soggy situation in your basement leads to big problems over time? Stop stalling and call Absolute Waterproofing Solutions to save up to $500 today. Unlike other cookie-cutter waterproofing systems, Absolute Waterproofing provides several custom solutions backed by a lifetime warranty that leaves your home high and dry without damaging your foundation. To turn your basement from wet to wonderful, trust the team who never met a basement or crawl space they couldn't waterproof. Absolute Waterproofing Solutions. Take a look around these streets. Do you really think we woke up one day and said, yeah, the world needs more pizza? Nah, just a better one. Better like the world's best pizza. Jack's Detroit-style pizza. And pressed and baked to the thickest, crispiest crunch. You're welcome. Now enjoy Jet's Aloha Barbecue Chicken Pizza with pineapple, bacon, and barbecue sauce. Just $13.99. Jet's. Better because it has to be. Stand up to chronic migraine with Botox. What if you had fewer headaches and migraines a month? Botox 
Botox prevents headaches and migraines before they even start. Botox is for adults with chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more. Botox injections take about 15 minutes in your doctor's office and are covered by most insurance. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. With the Botox Savings Program, most people with commercial insurance pay nothing out of pocket. Talk to your doctor and visit BotoxChronicMigraine.com to enroll. At General RV in Birch Run, it's the rebates, rebates, rebates sale this Wednesday to Sunday. Get up to $10,000 off with manufacturer's rebates on diesel motorhomes, $5,000 off gas motorhomes, $2,500 off fifth wheels and toy haulers, and $1,000 off trailers. Shop our huge inventory and save thousands on the RV of your dreams. Plus, get more for your trade. Don't miss your exclusive rebates this Wednesday to Sunday at General RV in Birch Run off I-75. Breaking news, as we told you earlier this morning, part of I-69 is shut down right now due to a crash involving two semi-trucks. MDOT reports the crash happened around 7.30 this morning. Now take a look at these pictures, some sent to us by a viewer, others posted on Facebook by the Shiawassee County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff's Office says one of the trucks rear-ended the other on westbound I-69 near the 105 mile marker. That side of the freeway is closed down completely. Another crash happened in the eastbound side as onlookers slow down. Just one lane is open there right now. We are still working to learn if anyone was hurt, but of course we'll bring you more information as it comes into the continuous news center. When new evacuations are being ordered in Guatemala, where more lives are threatened by the volcano of fire. Scientists there warn after another eruption yesterday that the volcano was showing signs of greater activity. Yeah, so far at least 75 people are dead and 200 are still missing. In all, close to 2 million Guatemalans have been affected by the volcano's flows, including a little baby girl. Take a look. This video shows officers rescuing her from inside a house. Thankfully, the rest of her family was all also found alive. More than a month has passed since the volcano on Hawaii's Big Island began erupting. And there's no sign of things easing up. John Lawrence reports. Hundreds of homes gone this week, falling victim to lava from the Kilauea volcano. I'm real sad. I've always considered myself uh, a uh, tenant of Pele, so this may be my eviction notice. I kissed my house goodbye when I left. I really did. I could feel, you could feel the love in the walls. Over the past few days, much of the damage was reported in Kapoho and Vacation Land. And officials say they have no way to predict when the destruction will cease. It's a lot easier to forecast when an eruption will begin than to forecast when one will end. Lava is covering an eight square mile area or about two tenths of one percent of the entire island. Depending on where the flow goes, um, it, it could be more damage ahead. So we're watching it. And there are other concerns as well. Actually, what's really been keeping me up at night are the earthquakes. So it's been up at the summit just rocking and rolling about every other day. There have been more than 12,000 tremors since May 4th, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The island historically averages about 1,000 per month. But despite all the damage and uncertainty about the future, there may be reason for optimism. A rainbow was spotted at the Kilauea Volcano Tuesday. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The city turned off the water to their mobile home park. Now they say management has left them high and dry. I got to do something. I need to go somewhere where I know I got a roof over my head and I got running water. The stress has been building for two weeks. When we first brought you this story, the city was threatening to shut off the park's water. Residents at Elms Mobile Home Park in Flint say they paid their rent, and part of that rent was supposed to pay for water. But the company in charge of the park, Denmark Management, doesn't seem to be keeping up. Nothing much we can do without no water. Water bill's been paid. We shouldn't have to live like this. Angry, frustrated, and overall extremely stressed out. TV5 reached out to the management company. We're still waiting for a response. 
New this morning, the MDEQ has awarded two grants to Fenton. The Tri-County Times reports they'll help fund the city's review of its storm and wastewater systems and preparation of five- and ten-year improvement plans. The grants would cover more than $890,000, with the city matching 10 percent, or $99,000. The reimbursement program and project will take place over three years. A neighborhood crime alert. The Church of God Seventh Day in Saginaw reporting the theft of more than a dozen electronic items between Saturday night and Sunday morning. Among the missing items, a bass guitar, wall speakers, a laptop, and projector. If you have any information, please call Saginaw Police. Happening today, Movies on Main returns to downtown Midland. The films will be projected on the side of Ace Hardware at Main and Cronkright each Wednesday around 9 p.m. Each showing is free and there will be popcorn for sale. This year's films include Black Panther, Frozen, and Wonder Woman. Tonight's movie is Pirates of the Caribbean 5. For a complete listing of this year's films, just click on the hot link section of WNEM.com. Honey, I don't feel today any different than I did 50 years ago. And a mid-Michigan man that served in World War II is celebrating his 100th birthday. We first brought you Ike Fabella's story last month. He's lived in Saginaw and Flint, spent years as an auto worker after the war, got married, and had three kids. To celebrate 100 years on this earth, he asked for 100 birthday cards to hang up in his room at the nursing home. He's already received responses from all over the nation. I feel great and thankful because i getting people that I don't know said, happy birthday, Mr. Fabella. Well, happy birthday. So sweet. If you'd like to send him a card, go to the hot link section of WNEM.com. He'll be officially celebrating with a party in Montrose this weekend. Yes, happy birthday, Ike. Yes, happy <laughs> birthday. Well, former President Bill Clinton visited The Late Show with Stephen Colbert to promote his new book. And while he was there, he addressed the latest headlines on his response to questions involving the Me Too movement. It's one of five things you need to know. Clinton faced some uproar after an interview on The Today Show. Many say his response to a question regarding regarding the Me Too movement was tone deaf. You seemed offended to be asked about this thing when, in all due respect, sir, y your behavior was the most famous example of a powerful man sexually misbehaving in the workplace of my lifetime. Clinton said he was angry with himself about how his response no, sounded. In, no, by other people. In this context. The Me Too context. Yes, and I didn't mind at all. But I didn't like this one because it started with an assertion that basically I had never apologized, as if I had never tried to come to grips with it, and as if there had been no attempt to hold me accountable, which it... He also said he is a supporter of the Me Too movement and has apologized to his family, Monica Lewinsky, and the American people. Could Medicare be in trouble? The Washington Post reports the fund will dry up by 2026. Trump administration officials say it's because of policy changes like the GOP tax law, leading to less revenue from income taxes. But the Treasury Secretary says the government's economic agenda will generate long-term growth, stabilizing both Medicare and Social Security. The former boss of disgraced Dr. Larry Nasser will stand trial for his own charges of sexual misconduct. In court yesterday, three women accused William Strample of making inappropriate comments and offering to help them in exchange for sexual favors. The judge decided there was enough evidence to put the former MSU dean on trial. A one-night event celebrating the arts is ready to help add some spice to your summer. Jazz on Jefferson is back for its 15th annual festival in Saginaw, featuring music, food, classic cars, and more. The fun starts at 445 along Jefferson Avenue by the Castle Museum. And it's that time again, a chance for people to enjoy appetizers and a cold one. The 8th Annual Apps and Ales kicks off this afternoon in downtown Bay City. Dozens of restaurants and pubs will offer good eats, craft beers, and music in the streets. The event is from 5 until 9.30 tonight. Lots of fun happening. Uh, especially love the uh, jazz on Jefferson. Mm -hmm. And there Can't should be a lot of sunshine today for Apps mm -hmm. and Ales, too. I mean, yeah. Sounds like a happy hour slash dinner kind of conversation. There you go. <laughs> Get out and enjoy it. Oh, there's an epidemic of vaping growing across the country. Find out how experts are tackling the problem. On Jeopardy, a parry category. I love a great love story, said this American actress about her engagement to Prince Harry. RSVP for Jeopardy. Okay. <laughs> Tonight at 7 on TV5.
It's Tennis Week on Wheel. You know, when I was a kid, I almost made it into a big tennis tournament. Really? Well, as a ball boy. I, I did, they didn't hire me. I dropped the ball. I tripped and fell. Tonight at 7.30 on TV5. A car hit by a truck doesn't stand a chance, and neither will you unless you call the right lawyer. Don't wait for the trucking company to offer you a settlement. They won't. Figer Law. We didn't become one of America's best trial lawyers by accident. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity Internet. Call 1-800-449-6565 today. And do what you love online with Xfinity Internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months. Xfinity Internet delivers the speed you need to surf, stream, and download. Plus, with Constant Guard by Xfinity, your family will get unmatched online security. And it's included at no additional cost. Call 1-800-449-6565 today and get speed, security, and value from Xfinity for an amazing price. Xfinity delivers reliably fast Internet speed and the best in-home Wi-Fi experience. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Now with more speed, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's risk-free. Experience speed at a great low price from Xfinity. Call 1-800-449-6565. That's 1-800-449-6565. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Every day, people are injured in car, truck, and motorcycle accidents, and they're forced to settle for less than they deserve. Why? Because their TV lawyers don't try cases. Figer Law. We didn't become one of America's best trial lawyers by accident. There's an epidemic sweeping the country. The number of kids that are trying vaping has gone up tremendously. Yeah, Meg Oliver reports from New York on a community program believed to be the first of its kind, tackling a widespread problem. How many of you think that vaping is bad for you? Sandwich between lunch and language arts. Health educator Amy Rosenfeld has one period to hammer home the dangers of vaping. They're not just water vapor. They contain at least 42 chemicals that we know so far. This program by Northern Westchester Hospital is one of the first in the country to teach middle and high school students about e-cigarettes. Are you hoping to scare them a little bit? We definitely are hoping to scare them a little bit. Amy and her team are finding many students don't realize that 99% of vaping products contain nicotine, which is detrimental for a developing brain. They are a generation of guinea pigs. By using these devices, they could become a generation of addicts. Many e-cigarettes come in a rainbow of flavors, making them popular among teens. Gummy bear and mango. Some are so small, students can easily hide them. 18-year-old Michael Maitland was so disturbed by the vaping trend at his high school, he recommended his local hospital address the problem. Do you think a lot of them are addicted? I think a lot of them are addicted. I mean, people have to leave class to go vape in school in the bathrooms. Students say the lessons definitely left a lasting impression. It made me shocked because the chemicals that was in it, and it, it is really surprising. It never really occurred to me before that some people were using us as the test generation to see what could happen to us in the long term. A generation this program hopes to reach before they experiment. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Pleasantville, New York. Wow, that's shocking. That is shocking. Kids just don't do it. Yeah. Well, do you have heartburn? Turns out it could be something else. Coming up, we'll tell you more. Dan Dan the Mattress Man, greatest tent sale ever. Sofas from $2.99. Twin mattresses from $75. Area rugs from $39. Recliners from $199. 12 months, 0% financing. Dan Dan the Mattress Man, 802 Ashman, Midland. Saturday only, 9 to 5. Dan Dan the Mattress Man.com. Urgent hearing health announcement. The third most common health problem in the U.S. is hearing loss. If you're over the age of 50, you may have difficulty hearing this commercial. AccuQuest Hearing Centers has exciting news for you. America's largest hearing aid manufacturer has now released a 100% digital, ready-to-wear hearing aid that is completely invisible when worn. AccuQuest Hearing Centers is offering these revolutionary hearing aids at an incredibly low price of just $750 each. That's right, as low as $750 could help you rejoin the conversation. 
Call this number now to schedule your complimentary hearing screening today and see if you qualify to wear these invisible new hearing aids. The size of a pencil eraser. It's the hearing solution that is both invisible and affordable. So call now and join the thousands of people choosing to hear better every day. Ready to get your spring sprung this year? Let Grand Blank Mitsubishi brighten your forecast. Get a 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage or 2017 Outlander Sport for only $111 a month. Pre-owned vehicles starting at $4,500. And everyone who buys will receive a complimentary four-day, three-night cruise for two to the Bahamas. That's right. Buy a car and get a cruise. Every dealership I went to said no. I've had my credit challenges over the past few years. I never thought that I could get a loan, but they got me approved. Credit spend. Specialists are standing by to help you get approved. Get a 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage or 2017 Outlander Sport for only $111 a month. Plus, everyone who buys will walk away with a four-day, three-night cruise for two to the Bahamas. I got a great deal on a new car, and I get to go on a cruise. I never thought buying a car could be so easy. I got the car that I wanted at a payment I could afford. Get your spring sprung this year. Call 800-984-3686. That's 800-984-3686. Dan Dan the Mattress Man, greatest tent sale ever. Chase Sofa, $3.99. Bunk beds, $1.75. Recline Sofa, $5.99. One year, 0% financing. Dan Dan the Mattress Man, 802 Ashman Midland. Saturday only, 9 to 5. Dan Dan the Mattress Man.com. Welcome back. It's time now for Medical Moments with Covenant Healthcare, and today we're talking about GERD. Is it just heartburn? With me here today is Vicki Ott, nurse at practitioner at Covenant Digestive Care Center. Thank you so much for being here Thank with you. us. Now, um, let's get right to the basics. GERD, is it the same thing as heartburn? What exactly is it? So it's a little different. Um, GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. So I see how we call it GERD. Yeah, <laughs> right. In common sense, it's the acid in our stomach backing mm -hmm. up into the food tube, the esophagus. Okay. Heartburn is more the symptom that you get with mm -hmm. GERD, and it can be different for everybody. You can get some chest pain with it. Mm -hmm. Some people get like an aching in their stomach. Um, some people get like the burning in their throat from the acid. Wow. They can get a funny taste in their mouth, like the acid in their mouth. Um, when it gets very frequent, like two, three, four times a week, mm -hmm. um, then we call it GERD. Okay. We give it that diagnosis. And what are some of the causes of this? So a lot of the causes, some of it can be structure. You have a valve that usually keeps the acid in our stomach, but once in a while that valve can get a little lazy and that can back up. But mostly it's the foods that we eat, things that we drink, and stress can play a important um, part of it. If you get real under a lot of stress at work mm -hmm. or family, that can cause the acid to like back up and get over secreted. Okay, now let's talk about uh, the symptoms. What are they and how can they be managed? So the symptoms are like the heartburn, the pain. Mm -hmm. um, managed, mostly what we do is called lifestyle modifications. Okay. And so the most important thing is um, avoiding the triggers. So if you're a smoker, you should quit smoking. Mm -hmm. um, alcohol in moderation okay. and what we call lifestyle stuff so like avoiding the trigger foods so the big trigger foods is that coffee we like in the morning oh man yeah <laughs> the carbonated beverages um, spicy greasy fatty foods mm -hmm. chocolate another big one oh good um, peppermints and um, losing weight if okay. you're overweight um, the other thing is never going to bed um, on a full stomach so you want to like stay up for two to three hours after eating mm -hmm. when you eat um, stay in an upright position for 30 to 60 minutes okay and and um, if you have heartburn at night, a good thing is to put like a wedge underneath the mattress. It'll put oh. your head up about 30 degrees and that okay. will prevent some of that. When is a great time for someone to see their primary doctor so, about this? So I would recommend you would see your primary care doctor if you've tried the lifestyle modifications and you're still having frequent heartburn. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've used some acid um, over the counter, Tums, and that doesn't work. Um, if you're vomiting, especially if you see blood, mm. uh, any color changes in your stools, especially dark colored stools. Okay. Um, if you're losing weight, um, and it just doesn't go away. All righty. Well, thank you so much for thank all you. that information. And if you would like to learn more about this, you can log on to TV5.com and just take a look at our hot link section. All right. Thank you so much, Jamie. Very informative. Unfortunately, those are all my favorite foods. <laughs> well, taking a live look now over Saginaw, you can see a lot of blue skies. Meteorologist Kylie Miller, this better stick around all day. It's gorgeous. It is going to, Elena. We're going to continue to have these beautiful sunny skies. And we're actually talking about a warm up in our temperatures. Still going to be below average for this time of the year, but just by a couple of degrees. So I think we can handle it. Here's a look at the temperatures around the region. Currently, we're at 57 degrees in Flint. And 
in Lapeer, 61 in Owasso, 59 in Mount Pleasant, 54 in Port Hope, and currently at 60 degrees in Cairo. Here's a look at the first one five sky tracker. We have crystal blue skies overhead, not a cloud to track, but we are going to be monitoring our next disturbance moving in for the overnight and into our Thursday. But for today, for the UV index, we're in the eight to nine category, so that means you could burn in 20 minutes or less. So definitely make sure to apply the sunscreen before going outdoors. Here's the day planner for today. Starting at noon, temperatures will be climbing into the upper 60s and the lower 70s. Finally, by 2 o'clock, we're expecting temperatures to be in the lower 70s. 5 o'clock, 71 degrees will be the temperature. And then we will be getting a push of cloud cover rolling in just in time for the evening commute home. And then we're going to be talking about some of those isolated scattered rain showers going through the overnight period. All right, thanks, Kylie. Well, the summer movie season is in full swing, which means it's time to start looking further ahead. A trio of new trailers has just dropped for movies opening this winter. David Daniel has the highlights in the Hollywood Minute. Haley Steinfeld finds her little yellow car has a big secret in the first trailer for Bumblebee. The Transformers prequel hits theaters December 21st. You got people out there who need you. This is why you're here, B. What is that? That is London. Millennia after a world-shattering war, giant moving cities roam the earth, devouring smaller towns for their resources in mortal engines. Peter Jackson's steampunk-inspired thriller based on the Philip Reeve novel invades theaters December 14th. We have to stop London before it destroys us. sure you want to do this. Once we go in, there's no going back. I have to. It's like it knows our every move. Weird, right? Emmett! And Lego Duplo invaders from space threaten our little plastic heroes in the first trailer for The Lego Movie 2, the second part, coming next February. The sister, sister. for the satisfaction of woeing this. That's even worse. Stop it! In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. I didn't even know they made a, a first Lego movie. There's so many. <laughs> you got Lego Batman, you got Lego Ninja or See, something. She's hip. There's a ton of them. <laughs> there this, we go. They're really capitalizing on this Lego trend, that's yeah. for sure. Well, they look good. <laughs> well, summer is always a time for fun, but it could be easy to forget about your schoolwork. Find out the solution one teacher came up with. And don't forget, if you have a tough question you'd like us to investigate, just give us a call at one of the numbers on your screen. Or you can send us an email to WNEM at WNEM.com or get a hold of us on Facebook. You're watching TV5 News at 9, serving Frankenmuth, Reese, Claire, and your hometown, too. It's coverage you can count on. Imagine if you find the perfect table but you need it to be four inches longer. Imagine if you find the perfect dresser or nightstand, but you need it to be a few shades darker. Imagine if you find the perfect chest, but you need it to be a few drawers bigger. It's your furniture's exclusive, fully customizable furniture. Your home, your way. One mile north of Pinconning and M13. Open six days a week. If you are told you have a heart condition, the first thing you should do is get a second opinion from the top-ranked heart care team in the nation. Cleveland Clinic has been ranked number one for 23 years in a row. I want somebody that's done thousands of my operations, not three. With over 1,700 physicians, surgeons, and caregivers specializing in the research and care of heart conditions, Cleveland Clinic has an unparalleled record of successful treatments and provides you with the most advanced heart care technology the world has ever seen. It's total care for you and your family. We can even offer same-day appointments. This is unlike any place I've or we have ever been before. It really is patients first. The best heart care in the nation is closer than you think. Call today to arrange your second opinion or talk with a heart nurse. We're available 24-7. Call Cleveland Clinic at 844-441-4449.
Save when you buy your season pass at miadventure.com. Michigan's Adventure. It's amazing in here. When you're in this CR, stand your ground. You're in the most heart stopping place on earth. Save this young girl's life. I'm not giving up. Go, come on, come on, come on. A new Code Black CBS tonight. This June, Big Brother is turning 20. In the past 19 seasons of mayhem, manipulation, and madness have all been leading to the biggest summer ever. Julie Chen hosts. What's better? Nothing. Big Brother premieres June 27th. For kids, sometimes it's tough to remember what they learned during the school year as soon as summer hits. Yeah, that's why to help keep their minds fresh for the next year, teachers usually send home summer packets of math or some kind of reading. But one teacher is sending home a different kind of summer work for first graders, things like learning to tie their shoes or to write a letter to a family member. That's right. So we want to ask you this morning, what are some ways you help keep your child refreshed on school material and life? Let us know on the TV5 Facebook page today. You know, that's tough. You know, you, you think summer's here. Forget everything you learn yeah. in school, but you can't do that. One great thing is uh, the library. They always mm -hmm. have things going mm -hmm. on for summer, and that way your kids can have fun and still not forget everything they learn during the school year. So yeah. that's a good one there. Fun right. reading programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that definitely would be hard, you know, because you're on summer break, you just want to go outside, have yeah. fun. Sleep in. Sleep in. <laughs> but you have to remember, you don't want to lose the stuff that you worked on right. all school year long. That's and right. today's going to be pretty nice, too. Today is going to be gorgeous. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine for today. Temperatures, though, will be a a little bit below average for this time of the year. We'll be climbing into the lower 70s for most spots here in mid-Michigan. For your Thursday, we're looking at warmer temperatures, 76 degrees with a 20% chance of having an isolated rain shower. And then for Friday, we're going to be experiencing some rain showers as well as some thunderstorms, and that will roll into our Saturday as well. All right, things are getting warmer and better. A little bit of rain, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, at least with the warmer temperatures, the rain is manageable. There yes. we go. Thanks, right. Kylie. Thank you, Kylie, and thank you for watching TV5 News at 9. Have a great day.